this is a Honda Civic LX model 1996 with the regular uh, 1600 cc engine and uh, we have a camshaft seal that's leaking what I had to do is open these bolts and remove this cover so I could remove the front of the, the top housing cover so I could see where the oil is leaking from and I did manage to see that it was leaking from the camshaft seal I am now removing the power steering pump I can take these bolts out, loosen it, get the belts out also we need to remember to support the engine from the bottom from the oil oil pan and remove this engine mount and also the engine mount which is at the bottom which is here so this one needs to come out too and we need to line up the pulley at top dead center along with the timing marks on the top right now we also have to remove the cruise control that's on the way because this mounting bracket the whole bracket needs to needs to come out so we have space here and access here so this cruise control needs to come out too uh, removing these bolts I have the pulley at top dead center you can see here it says up I'm not sure if you can read it and there are two marks mark over here and mark on the other side so this is now at top dead center with the pulley I'm not sure if you can see this the crankshaft pulley there are little marks on it and let me see if I can zoom in it's a little tough here there are marks on the pulley and that should line up with the top you can see that one white mark okay I've removed this front bracket here completely and also got the crankshaft pulley or the harmonic balancer out and make sure we don't lose the woodruff key keep it at a safe place and that's the bottom cover now that's exposed for the crankshaft pulley again uh, showing you I have supported the engine on the bottom side from the oil pan had a couple of jacks there just in case of one hydraulic jack kind of loses its pressure slowly all right after getting the pulley out I found out that the air conditioning belts idler pulley was in the way so I had to take this pulley off too that is in the way to remove the lower cover um, behind the crankshaft pulley or harmonic balancer so that had to come out also I needed to take out the dipstick tube that needed to come out because behind the tube was a screw to remove the again the front plastic cover so this tube needed to come out it's just an o-ring over there uh, you can just wiggle it pull at it maybe take a screwdriver wedge it and then get it out then uh, finally I got the lower front cover off to expose the timing belt so this thing had six screws one two three four and over here five and six so those are the six screws 
that had to come out to get this thing off the the uh, dipstick tube fits right here in front of it so I could not access that screw it had to come out alright after taking the cover off you see that that is your crankshaft fluctuation sensor and that needs to be removed the gap over there is 33 thousandths okay I've uh, loosened the tensioner for the timing belt and also this nut over here for the camshaft uh, let me move this power steering pump okay this nut over here for the camshaft is loose also so now with the tensional loose I, I can remove this belt it's not that hard because it's not under that much tension so everything is marked and timed made sure that none of the pulleys or gears have moved and we go from there then we're going to remove this nut it's like i said it was loosened before and we're going to remove this pulley and replace the seal i'm not sure if you can see or not uh, this seal is ruptured right from here as you can see the rubber is worn out that's why the oil was leaking this pulley camshaft came from here and that's why the oil was gushing out and we're going to replace that. I've loosened these two bolts slightly so the seal can come out easily. There was still this cover that was in the way so I had to remove one more bolt and remove this cover. This was the middle cover. Uh, one bolt over here as you can see and that goes there and I had to remove this cover so now I have a better access to this seal this is the drawing of the front of the engine the parts some of the parts that I have removed and after this I'll show you instruction on putting the timing belt on okay so we're back to the seal this I used actually I did use the screwdriver it was a little struggle but I managed to get this seal off so as you can see it was badly damaged of course I damaged it more by putting a screwdriver in there but uh, that was it and this is the new seal I got and we will be putting a little bit of grease around it and inside and that push it in there take the appropriate tool something that fits almost on the circumference of this uh, seal to tap it inside slowly and the second thought is that I might even change the water pump okay I just pushed the new seal in by hand actually it wasn't as tough as I thought I didn't have to tap it nothing I'm holding the camera with my right hand but actually used both my thumb this side and this side and pushed it in and then upside and down up, up and down and left and right and looks like the seal is seated like I said I put grease on the outside and grease on the inside and it was easier than I thought also that mentioned before I had loosened these two bolts but I doubt if it made any difference because it's all connected one piece everything is bolted down so that mechanic who told me this I don't think it's true I'll go ahead and tighten it again but I don't think that made a difference okay so here is the water pump and as you can see it's attached with the bolt going on the alternator bracket so that needs to be come up and that needs to be taken out also <clears throat> and this is the new water pump so we'll be replacing this the crankshaft uh, what fluctuation sensor was in the way so I removed it which I had shown you before near the crankshaft pulley so that's out of the way so I could get to the 
alternator bracket bolt. I removed the bolt from here and just moved the alternator bracket out of the way so I can take the water pump off. Okay, I finally put the new water pump in there and tightened those four bolts and the alternator bolt which is this one so this is the new water pump everything kind of looks fine I have uh, filled up the radiator with coolant now uh, here for some reason there's always an airplane going overhead you can hear it whenever I'm talking but uh, here it is <laughs> There, this is the old timing belt. As you can see, I had marked on it, and I got the new timing belt with the same marks. And once I put it all there, it's at top dead center now. I'm going to make sure the marks marks line up like they did before. One more thing to remember: even though I have this pulley temporarily put over here, the screw is not very tight. But you got to put the covers on before you put the timing belt so otherwise you'll have to remove everything again because the cover goes behind this pulley okay now I have the back cover on then I put on the timing belt then I put on this cover the middle cover and putting the crankshaft pulley on and we're gonna tighten everything with an impact wrench okay I have now done all the timing belt and water pump stuff it's done and the tensioner has been tightened I have temporarily put the valve cover also and in, installed uh, the spark plug cables just to test it I have deliberately left this top cover off so I want to make sure the belt is fine and I'm gonna start the car now One more thing I want to point out, I have not attached any of the drive belts, neither have I attached the cruise control, power steering fluid, reservoir and the pump. So it's now just running water pump of course is connected with the timing belt, so it should not overheat but it won't charge the battery and we're going to start it now. <coughs> Okay, everything kind of looks good. <laughs> 